All right, so you're probably familiar with this one, the Gorilla Tripod, which is something nearly every vlogger, YouTuber has come in contact with. And I will say there's some good things about it, but there is also some really bad things. One thing, it's very clunky. And when you set it down, I've used it for a while, it just falls apart. Here. And then I walk away from the camera to turn around to talk to camera or whatever. By the time I turn around, the camera has fallen over. The thing is that we cannot live without a good tripod. But about six months ago, I got another one. And it's the one that is right over here. And the thing that I like about this one is the compact and sleek design of this tripod. It is literally all this. As you can see, it is fully made of carbon fiber, and this is what I like about it. And when you get it, you actually get it without a ball head. So you can put any ball head on there. And then I got this one because I got another tripod from Ulanzi, which was this one. Also these bendy things that I don't like, but it has this nice tripod on top, which, or this ball head on top that I put on there. So. You can get this one and put any ball head on top. But the good one about this particular ball head, it has the Olancy Fallcam F38 quick release plates that I use on all of my gear. And if you take my camera, I can just slide it on here. Boof, and we can log it if we want. And now we have a camera sitting nicely on a tripod. But the good thing is that if we want it down low, we can just turn this little knob, doof, and we can spread the legs out and now it's all down to the ground, super nice and sturdy. I can easily adjust it uh, with this ball head here, there it goes in any direction. Now it won't fall over and I could put my S1H on here without having to be afraid of it falling over with this bigger and heavier camera. But the good thing doesn't stop here. We twist this one, you can see it's back to its normal position, but if we twist the legs, they extend out, yes it comes even bigger. So now it comes high up, you can just put it there. Then you can adjust it, and then you can talk to the camera or whatever you are going to do. But if you want to vlog with it, all I do is I put these legs back in. Here we go. I adjust the ball head. There we go. So now I have a nice, small tripod that I can vlog with and that I can have in my camera bag because not all of these big and clunky tripods fit into a camera bag. And nowadays, I like to have the least as, uh, amount of gear with me as possible. So therefore, this one is really nice. Before I got this one, I was actually using a simple tripod like this one, because this is the tripod for my gimbal or my gimbals. When I was using the tripod for, for vlogging, I put the uh, ball head on here. We go, and I just use this. And you can see it's kind of the same configuration as this, but the problem with this was that I couldn't uh, raise it up high, I couldn't extend it out or anything like that. I could only have it in this configuration. But it saved me a lot of space in my back, and that was where I fell in love with this small design. So when Lancy reached out to me and said, hey Pete, you gotta see this tripod here, I was really into it. I've been using it for the, the past six months now and it's just perfect. It lifts in my camera bag when I'm not, not vlogging with this setup here on my, my S1H. So I'm really keen on this one and it is not that expensive. It's 45 bucks on their website and of course you have to buy a ball head for this tripod, but you probably already have another tripod like this one, the Gorilla Pod, where you have a ball head. So start with that and then you can always get another one if you don't like that ball head. But there's also something else I wanna show you. And this little guy right here, it is a quick release plate and that's why I have this camera right over here. You can't really see it, but this is my S1H setup that I use for production stuff. So this is the uh, bigger rig that I take with me when I shoot professional videos, yeah. But the thing that annoyed me a bit was when I had to put the uh, the actual monitor on the camera, especially when I was using it with clients that want to see their face, if it was an interview, then I had to kind of unscrew the monitor and screw it on again, but now I can just flip it and it sits on there. So now they can see themselves. And if I'm shooting myself here in the studio, I can do the same. They call it the hummingbird and it's just this little quick release plate 
and it is perfect. They have a little GoPro mount for it, but if you don't want to use the GoPro mount, you can just put this one on any mount and you have a GoPro mount right here. So, a clever design, a nice and little small thing from Ulanti. I will also leave links for these down in the description. If you're looking for a great solution for vlogging or just an everyday tripod, try this one. It's amazing. That's it guys, stay creative and stay safe. And if you can, go out and shoot some dope videos. See you next time, bye.